Source, this art club has a problem. Welcome back to Annie Daily Recaps. Like and subscribe so you can get 100 girlfriends. <laughs> the story starts with our main characters, Usami and Subaru. <laughs> they are members of the art club and right now they are drawing for practice. MC has a unique interest in drawing anime girls and Usami hates it a lot. She frustratingly punches through the drawing MC just made. It pisses off MC as he thinks Usami has a problem with him drawing these cartoon girls. To be honest, he did draw it pretty neatly. Behind them, we see the senior who is the club president sleeping on the sofa. So Yusami mocks him, therefore he simply gets up and leaves the room for a walk. Can't see a man sleeping peacefully. Whereas the advising teacher, Koyama comes into the room and motivates Yusami and MC to practice and keep the club alive. Hence, Usami gets back to drawing while MC is watching anime saying he is researching for his work. Since his research work is pretty loud for Usami as she is trying to focus on drawing a beautiful apple. So she asks him to do his research work at his home when MC gives her the idea of anthropomorphizing the apple. Now that's a very long word. It means showing something as other, in her case, they mixed an apple with a human-like species to make it interesting. Although, it does not look very great and looks kind of creepy. Anyways, MC is now interested in drawing a model, but the friend he called to help is late today. So he asks Usami to model for her, which makes her flattered and think that MC at least finds her cute. So she happily agrees. But that's where MC asks Usami to pull up her legs and cross her arms around her knees for the pose. At this point, her undergarments are being revealed, so MC tells her about it. Usami then quickly gets on more clothes to cover it up and does the same pose for him. <laughs> While he is drawing her, the president pops out from the sofa with a camera. Turns out he has been recording the whole scene and it pisses her off. Well, who would? Although MC is very concentrated on her and finishes the drawing. Looks like he again changed her into an anime girl and kept the undergarment part of her in the drawing. Even though the president was involved with MC, he was the one who forwarded him the photos which made the drawing so detailed. Usami loses her temper and starts to run after the president with a bat. Meanwhile, MC has a picture of her as he draws her portrait beautifully this time. And when Usami and the president get back, MC hands Usami her drawing, which she seems to love. The next day, Usami enters the club room and sees MC looking all tense, looks like he has something to tell Usami. It appears that he wants to go out with her while Usami is speechless. Furthermore, he reveals that he is about to draw his best waifu and will be marrying her. This guy is not right in the head. It makes Usami sad because she was expecting something else. What's more, MC tells her that he is planning to quit after he makes his best piece. This strikes Usami very hard and she gets mad at him. After a while, the president and Usami are outside, talking about MC. President thinks that Subaru can even win a medal if he tries a little more but he wouldn't. So Usami gets back to the club room as MC is about to leave. He happily invites Usami to his wedding with his waifu which he will be finishing tomorrow. Usami again is feeling sad and thinks that she never stood a chance. We then see glimpses of how she met MC and it was when he interviewed for the art club. In the interview, the president was asking him serious questions, like why did he join this time of the year? What is his motivation? So MC gets up from the chair and tells them that he is here to draw the ultimate 2D waifu. At that time, Usami didn't think it was a good idea to get him in the club, but the president accepted him immediately because he thought MC was interesting. And when Usami comes up to MC to shake hands, our main boy makes it a little awkward and tells her that he is not interested in 3D girls. What kind of a guy is he? In the present, Usami and MC are walking home when Usami asks Subaru if he is serious about quitting the club. Well, he is serious though he asks Usami if she'll be lonely after he quits. At this moment, Usami is gathering the courage to tell him that she will be lonely, but MC changes the topic quickly. However, MC is moved when he notices the tears in Usami's eyes, he starts crying like a child and can't stop. 
she is very anxious thinking about MC quitting all night. The next day, Usami goes to the club room and sees MC starting a new painting after finishing the last one. He tells her that he is not quitting and it's because she changed his mind. After seeing her cry for him yesterday, Usami looked very endearing to him and this made him change his decision. Usami gets very happy after hearing this. Later, while Usami is walking to the club room with her friends when one of her friends, Sayaka, tells her the horoscope for her. She tells Usami that MC is going to kiss him today. So Usami starts to blush and feel butterflies, but that's when Sayaka reveals that she was just playing with her. Meanwhile, MC is in the club room painting when he drops a lot of red paint on the ground. President tells him to clean it up, but accidentally kicks the chair. What's worse, Usami's painting was on that chair as it fell on the paint, face ahead. So now they have no idea what to do. Usami is literally outside the room, so MC rushes outside to buy the president some time while he does something about the painting. However, Usami forcefully gets into the room and witnesses the president lying on the pool of red paint, acting dead. Even MC plays along with the murder mystery. But Usami checks the blood and realizes it's paint. She is not buying their play and starts to wonder about the painting that she made for the competition tomorrow. Well, the president is lying on top of it, and if she couldn't submit that painting, the club would be shut down. Talk about a double whammy. MC then tells her that he saw her painting on the top of the shelf, so Yusami immediately gets on the stool to look for it while MC is thinking about what to do. Out of nowhere, MC tells Yusami that he can again see her undergarments. This makes Yusami trip and the president falls off the stool, so MC manages to catch her and she finds it a romantic moment for them, though MC can't hold her anymore and falls on the president. Hence. The president gets up and gives Usami her ruined painting. Now they have no option but to submit MC's waifu paintings in the competition, which ends up getting the 13th position. At night, Usami is having a sleepover with her friend, she asks Usami about her crush. Although she knows it's MC but wants to know how Usami met MC. Hence, Usami shares her story and we get to see how they met in the past. MC was painting and used all the paint for his waifu drawings, so Yusami was going out to get some new paints and the president thought MC should go with her. It's probably because it's not safe outside, but Yusami thinks MC is of no use. They were not getting along at the start. Anyway, on their way, they meet their teacher, Koyama. He tells them that they should be close to each other while they are out. And on their way back, a woman comes to them. She seems very worried and is looking for her child. So Isami and MC ask her about her appearance and start looking for her. They are looking at every spot around the town but find nothing. After some time, they see a girl around 11 with the child they are looking for. They approach the girl and Usami tries to convince the little child to take her to her mom. However, the girl isn't letting that happen and tells the child that these are bad people trying to kidnap her. Suddenly, the school alarm rings and the girl takes off without any words. The child is still scared of Asami, so MC draws a painting of the child's mother and shows it to her. So now, the child gets convinced and they take her to her mother. This is when Usami realized that MC is actually a good guy and they started getting along really well. As she is telling this story, Usami notices that her friend slept halfway through the story, hence she goes to sleep too. The next day, MC walks into the club and tells everyone that he got a love letter from some girl. It makes Yusami very jealous. Moreover, MC asks her if she ever wrote a love letter. At this moment, Yusami is thinking out loud and says that she will throw one at his face someday. Damn. Busted. Although, MC simply ignores what Yusami just said. Yusami then asks him what he will do about it and it appears he has an answer ready for it. He is going to say, know your limits, 3D girl. Yusami thinks this is very rude and tells him exactly what to say. A little later, he rejects the girl saying he already likes someone else. The girl asks him if it is Usami here. Usami eagerly wants him to say yes, but he doesn't. He tells her that Usami is just someone from her club, nothing else. That one there was a violation. On their way home, MC thanks Usami for helping him reject that girl. As they are walking, MC starts to stare at a little girl. So Ichisami runs back to the flashback where the president told her about the chance of MC being a lolicon. Don't ask me what lolicon is, you can search it up yourself. 
Turns out he was staring at the bra strap of an anime character. Well, the little girl goes home and tells her big sister that some pervert from her school was staring at her. Surprisingly, she is the sister of the same girl MC rejected. Meanwhile, Usami feels relieved that MC is not a lolicon. Later, MC comes to the club room and notices no one there, so he starts drawing but that's when hears a thudding sound from the back of the sofa. He goes to see and it's Colette looking for her lost locket. This locket is very precious to her and she really wants to find it. It appears Colette is from abroad and lives here by herself. She came here with her parents who later returned but she decided to stay. Anyways, MC offers his help to look for her locket as they start with the lost and found section. As they are heading to the lost and found, they bump into Koyama on the way. Well, the locket is not present in the lost and found section, though they find Usami's hairpin for her. MC then starts to investigate where she went today to make it easy to find the lost locket. She tells him that she lost it yesterday. So, our Sherlock MC asks her what she did yesterday. Even Usami shows up so Colette gives Usami her pin which cheers her up. Although Usami wants to help her but she is busy today. Moreover, she hands the president's beads and tells Colette to give them to him. MC comes to the conclusion that maybe hairpin, beads, and locket were exchanged here and there, so there's a chance that the president might be holding her locket accidentally. Seriously? All that thinking, and he came up with this solution. Well, they immediately go to the president and give him his beads. At this point, Colette is expecting her locket from him, but he doesn't have it. So Colette suddenly gets the idea that her locket might be stolen and MC and the president are the thieves. But when she puts her hands in her pocket, she suddenly tells everyone to forget about the locket. It shocks the president and MC, so they ask what changed her mind about the locket. Turns out it was in her pocket the whole time. How dumb do you have to be to do this kind of thing? MC is happy that she found her locket, but there was no photo of her family in the locket. It was her own sticker photo that was so precious to her. The next day, Colette is bored waiting for everyone in the club room. She is playing by herself until MC shows up. And when Yusami comes to the room, she sees MC sleeping on the sofa. He is bummed out because he is not getting any ideas about the hairstyles for his waifu. So Usami gives him an idea and tells him about a short haircut. It's somewhat like Usami's haircut, but MC doesn't know what a short bob haircut looks like. Hence, Colette gives him a reference drawing, but it's about some show and bob, not something he is looking for. On the way home, Usami stops at a market to get a haircut guide for MC that she gives him the next day and tells him that he can use this for reference. It makes him very happy and is very excited to use these 3D models for drawings. Though he is a little concerned that these are 3D, it's not a big problem. The next day, Usami finishes her class and goes to the club room. Her friends also insist on hanging out in the club room with her. They use an excuse of trial members to enter the room, and there is only MC today. Her friends bet whoever makes the worst drawing buys drinks for everyone. The model is MC and Usami standing next to each other. Cora, Usami's friend, tells Usami to get a little closer to MC. She is blushing but is loving it. Well, Cora draws the worst portrait, so now she goes to buy drinks for everyone and gets cola for MC. Turns out, MC cannot drink fizzy drinks, so she gives MC her own that she took just one sip of. Usami then tells MC to not drink because it will be an indirect kiss between MC and Cora. She grabs the drink and finishes it all in front of MC. To make it even, MC grabs her drinks and finishes it all. Not gonna lie, Usami loves it. So MC asks Usami she doesn't look very upset about it. But little does he know, Usami loved it. Usami's friend leaves and she thinks that Cora made her kiss MC indirectly. Maybe them coming to the club room wasn't a bad decision. Hence, it was a great day for Usami. Anyways, Yumeko, a new teacher, has been assigned as the advisor of the art club now. Whereas Koyama is the newspaper club's advisor now. Yumeko is very nervous about this because this is her first time doing a teaching job. She goes to the club room and outside she meets Colette. So Colette asks who she is and Yumeko tells her that she is the new advisor. Colette thinks she is tricking her to kidnap her, so she runs away scared. This makes Yumeko even more nervous but she buckles up and goes into the club room. 
There, Usami and MC are painting while the president is on the sofa as usual. Here, Yumeko starts to feel nervous, so Usami asks if she is the new advisor Koyama told them about. Yumeko says yes and gets relieved. Since she is not good at explaining, Usami is a lifesaver for her. Yumeko wants to observe the club activities and tell them to do whatever they do normally today. She is very excited to be doing this job now and is paying close attention to everyone. She is watching over them closely and quietly as Koyama told her to. After looking at the president sleeping peacefully, Yumeko gets the wrong idea about the president and thinks he is a delinquent. She looks at MC and Usami as they are working very intently. MC then gets up and takes a cardboard cut of an anime girl. He tells Yumiko that this is her waifu and she freaks out and rushes out of the room. MC and Yusami feel bad and ask the president to bring her into the room again. So the president brings her in and starts talking to her. She is finally getting along while MC and Yusami are doing their work. They finish drawing and it's a drawing of Yumeko sitting down. While she was talking to the president, she was also modeling for them. This makes Yumeko very happy and they tell her that Koyama told them to do this for her. Everyone asks Yumeko to say some words as it is her first day as their advisor. She is really excited to be their advisor and plans on being better than Koyama. We then get to see that Colette is walking on a road. She is following the shadows and trying not to get in the sunlight. She meets the girl Yusami and MC saved a long time ago and tries to recognize her. Colette tells her that she has to stay in the sunlight or she is out. Moika, the little girl, remembers this. Her mother comes out and they start walking toward their grandpa's home. As they are walking, her mother gets in the sunlight and Moika tells her that she is out. Her mother understands that this is the cute little game she is playing so she plays along. They are walking in the shadows and mother asks Moika if she has a gift for her grandpa. She does and she also made a drawing of her grandpa. So the mother asks Mokes if she wants to become an artist. Mioka tells her she wishes to join the art club. Meanwhile, Colette is playing the shadow sunlight game by herself as well and gets behind a guy's shadow to save herself from the sunlight. It's the president. On the other hand, Vusami is sleeping in her bed after taking a bath. She is thinking about MC and her mom wakes her up all of a sudden. There is a call from MC for Yusami and that's why her mom woke her up. She takes the phone and gets her mom out of the room for a private chat. So MC tells her that he had her prints out in his bag that she needs. He got them when Colette was doing a magic trick for them with their papers. Anyways, he tells her about bringing them over for her right now. Yusami freaks out seeing that she isn't even dressed up to look nice. He hangs up the call saying he is coming. Usami gets dressed up and goes downstairs to wait for MC. Her mom notices her and asks why she is all dressed up. She tells her she just felt like dressing up because MC was coming. MC is finally here so Yusami goes outside to talk with him as her mom just won't leave them alone. After taking the prints out, MC tells her that she is smelling very nice. Usami gathers up her courage and asks to exchange mobile numbers because they haven't done it till now. She thinks it's a big deal but MC casually agrees. This made Usami's day and she is very happy getting MC's cell phone number. Usani and MC are painting in the club room, whereas Colette is playing with the statue's head and having fun. Surprisingly, MC asks Colette to stop because she is in his view of the status. They are drawing the statue and Usami finishes her, while Colette looks at it and it's a pretty neat drawing. MC, on the other hand, just made an anime girl he likes. After a while, Subari is off to the supply store to get some stuff and Yusami joins her. Hence, Colette is alone by herself behind. She decides to paint the statue's head and she goes too far. Now she is afraid that Yusami and MC might yell at her for doing this so she decides to hide it in the cardboard box. So Colette leaves the room after hiding the statue's head and Yumeko comes to the room. Seeing no one in the room, she enters and looks at MC's drawing. She notices all the books out of the cardboard box and sees that there is something else in the box. On opening the box, she sees the statue's head and suddenly faints. When Usami and MC get back to the club room and see Yumeko fainted, Usami runs to get some help while MC does something. He remembers the mouth-to-mouth -mouth from the anime he watched and thinks that is the only way to wake her up. He is about to do it when the president sees him. So president hides behind the door, thinking they are about to kiss. 
and sees Colette coming to the club room. He takes her away from the room and tells her what he saw in the room. Colette thinks he has found out what she has done and admits that she is the one who did it. This is a big misunderstanding. President then tells her that this is not good and Usami will kill her for it. Colette can't believe that Usami would go that far for a statue head and is very confused. Usami enters the scene and with her is Koyama. President tells her what is happening in the club room and Usami is devastated. Koyama suggests maybe MC is just doing mouth to mouth, so Usami immediately runs to the club room to see, but before MC would give her mouth to mouth, she woke up. Usami sees that Yumeko is awake and MC is happy about it. She asks MC if he did it or not. MC should get himself checked up. MC tells her and she is very relieved, whereas the president asks Yumeko why she passed out. She tells them that there is a human head in the box and they all are surprised. They see, and it's the statue's head. At this point, MC and Usami are very upset about what happened to them. Well, Colette isn't proud of what she did anyway. Later, Usami is drying apples like usual and the president is waiting for MC to come back. He sent him to get something for his magic ritual. Usami notices and gives him her phone to call MC. Whereas the president is curious about when the two exchanged their numbers, Usami has saved MC's number with his first name. And when the president is playing with Usami, MC shows up. He has the magical ring that he sent him to get. Even Colette is here and she is standing in the magical circle while the president is holding a pot on her head. He puts the pot on Colette's head and the ritual is done. Colette starts acting like a dove and this is very strange for Usami and MC. They ask the president what Colette just said and he says that she asked you to make space for her as she is very sleepy. A little later, Usami and MC are sitting together so Usami asks MC about the final date for the next competition. He doesn't know so Usami mockingly makes fun of him, whereas Colette is again acting as a dove and it's still not cute. Yumeko enters the club room and reveals that she has news for everyone. They have a new club activity and it's to clean the school pool. MC is pretty frustrated about why the art club has to clean the pool. Anyways, they gather a little motivation and the president comes up with an idea. He has paint that washes very easily and he plans to draw on the pool and clean it after that. Pretty dumb idea if you ask me. They are a little bit excited about it and start drying the pool floor. It seems they are having fun drawing a giant mermaid. Colette is also playing around while Usami and MC are working hard and the president is sleeping as usual of course. On the other hand, Yumeko wants to help everyone but she can't put on the swimsuit. It's too tight for her. Anyways, they finish the drawing and it looks beautiful, but when they start to scrub it, it doesn't come off. Turns out, the president accidentally bought the non-removable paint and the painting is permanent on the pool floor now. President starts avoiding everyone by putting on the bird pot and acting as the dove. This is a bad situation for them. So Usami is chatting with MC on the phone, and she seems very happy that MC is sharing his interests with her. But that's when Usami's mom calls her for a bath, hence the call ends and Usami starts to act like a fangirl. The next day, she wakes up, gets ready, and gets breakfast. After that, she walks to the school and meets Sayaka and Ryoka on the way. In the school, Korra tells her that her horoscope for today was the lowest, so she should look out. A transfer girl is joining their class today and she should be on the lookout for MC. She tells her that MC doesn't take an interest in normal girls, so she doesn't have anything to worry about. The girl enters the class and everyone starts hooting like crazy. She is very cute and everyone is crazy about her right away. MC can't seem to understand why everyone is acting like she is an alien. He doesn't find her cute. The teacher tells the new girl, Maria, to sit next to MC. So she comes to the table where MC is sitting with his hand covering his eye. She asks him if he is okay with using an anime reference. He is surprised to hear it and gets curious about who this girl is. After the class, everyone is trying to talk to her, but she is very quiet. Korra is constantly telling Usami to look out for the new girl, but she is confident nothing is going to happen. But that's when Maria takes MC outside and tells her that she wants to talk to him. He is confused when she talks with another anime reference. MC gets it right away. Turns out Maria is also an anime manga fan and she knows everything about mangas. MC is very happy that finally someone understands him. 
They are chatting away and time is flying very quickly. Meanwhile, Yusami is looking for MC but no one knows where he is. She hears his voice and sees him sitting with Maria. He is shaking her hand and this kills Yusami from the inside. She doesn't understand. This is something new for her and everyone. Usami is feeling very low, lying on the club sofa, whereas the president and Colette are wondering why she is acting like this when MC comes in. He is confused too seeing Usami like this, so he asks Usami what happened but she doesn't respond. After he insists, she throws a pillow at his face calling him an idiot. MC returns the pillow and does the same to Usami and calls her an idiot. Just like that, they start fighting and the pillow gets ruined. At this point, the president is very sad seeing the pillow like this but it's okay with him. Yusami apologizes for her behavior and asks MC if he wants to go with him to the bag strap. He agrees and takes Maria with them. Yusami doesn't know how to feel about this. In the market, instead of buying the bag strap, they start looking at different manga products. Yusami realizes that they are just two friends who like manga and nothing else. She doesn't have anything to worry about. She is staring and smirking at MC when he calls her out. MC gives her a strap from the shelf telling her that this might be good for her. She doesn't like it because there's an evil character from the manga. So they start arguing and Maria thinks they are very close together. So she straight up asks if they are dating but Yusami says no right away. Maria wants to date MC if that is the case. Well, Yusami wasn't happy listening to what she said but Maria was joking. Yusami doesn't like this girl. On the way home, they see a kid under a tree looking pretty sad. He accidentally let go of his balloon, and now he's looking at it as it's stuck in the tree branches. Usami and MC try to help him by Usami getting on MC's shoulders, but the balloon is very high and they cannot reach it. Maria thinks she can reach it by jumping and gives it a try. Surprisingly, she jumps and catches the balloon. The kid is very happy and goes home, and MC compliments Maria. The next day, Usami goes to show off her strap but MC and Maria are busy chatting about manga. She doesn't like this. Moments later, Yumeko is motivating Usami and MC for the upcoming competition. She is very excited to see her students coming on top as she is counting on these two. Usami and MC are walking in the hallway talking about the competition. Usami is thinking that both of them will be working on the submitting piece but MC isn't interested. He doesn't want his waifus to be shown as a piece, since he wants to keep all of them to himself. Usami doesn't like him being so arrogant, so she tries to hurt his ego by saying that maybe he isn't feeling very confident about his drawings. But MC just doesn't care and he isn't willing to do anything about the competition. Therefore, Usami gives up and is ready to work alone. That's where a guy passes them and stops to ask if they are from the art club. They both don't recognize this guy. This guy starts mocking the piece they submitted by MC in the previous competition. This guy is just destroying MC's drawings out of nowhere. He thinks MC's painting was a piece of trash that belongs in the trash alone. Usami gets pissed and yells at him. Soha challenges them to a private competition after the school one and whoever wins is the best and the other one is trash. Usami is very pissed off and wants to show the guy that they can make great paintings. She decides to get the first place using one of MC's drawings. Although MC doesn't like that, Usami yells at him wondering if he was infuriated by that guy's trashing. She tells him that she was really angry at him for saying stuff like that to MC and he is surprised to hear this. They are ready to take that guy on and teach him who is the best. The next day, Usami comes into the club room and MC is already there, drawing. He took off his uniform shirt because it was hot and didn't hang it. So Usami does it for him, she tells him that she isn't his mom. MC thinks she couldn't be his mom age-wise but she can be his wife though. This sentence melts Usami and she starts imagining him as his husband. Anyways, MC asks if she brought the reference suit for him. Moreover, MC tells Usami to put it on so it can help him draw more clearly. He is waiting outside for her to put on the suit. While she gets ready, she looks like a doll. This is great for MC and this is going to help a lot. A little later, Usami is modeling for MC and she is observing him on how he is concentrating on his drawing. He suddenly starts staring at her and Usami asks if something is wrong. Turns out Usami has been holding her skirt up all this time and MC is seeing her undergarments clearly. How many times is it going to happen? 
Anyways, MC and Usami are working hard and days are passing by. And so the day for the presentation finally arrives. The competition is over and they got first place. MC is really proud of his drawing. Usami and Colette congratulate him, meanwhile, the guy who challenged them doesn't even have his drawing displayed. They forgot about him. Later, Colette is filling out the career survey while the president is sleeping on the sofa as usual. She is thinking hard about it and comes up with the hero of justice. She wants to become the hero of justice but she doesn't know how to. Furthermore, the president asked her what she said on this survey but she wouldn't tell them. Hesitantly, Usami reveals that she wants to become a wife. President and Colette start laughing hysterically. So Usami doesn't like this and mocks Colette about her being the hero of justice. Colette takes this to heart and runs away crying. She goes to the roof where Imara is standing, playing one of her anime characters. She is strapped in tape acting like the hero who is sacrificing herself for the protection of the school. Colette gets impressed and starts calling her master. She wants to become like her as well but Imara tells her that heroes never leave the evil but become friends with them first. Colette understands and runs to patch things up with Usami. The next day, Colette is also strapped in tape and is acting like the hero of justice. MC asks her where she learned this from. Colette says that her master taught her about the black dragon eye thing. He realizes that it is Imara and giggles. MC is drawing normally. Colette and the president are doing their thing while Yusami is trying to draw the ruined statue's head. She cannot concentrate because of what Colette did to it. She asks the president if they can buy another one with the club funding. But the president used those funds to buy the pillow he was sleeping on. President is always sleeping. That's what I want to do with life. He tells Usami there might be an old one in the room next to theirs, the storage room. Usami and Subari take keys to the storage room from Koyama and enter it. The lights aren't turning on and it's just a mess. They start looking for the statue head and start finding some other things they both like. So the president comes to tell them that he is going home and closes the door. Usami tried to open it but it wouldn't open. MC notices a box that has a plaster figure inside but Usami is worried about the door now. MC tries to open it but it is even more stuck than before because Usami punches it. They are feeling very scared that they might be stuck here for the night. Colette comes outside the door to see if there is anyone in the storage room. She has her earphones on so she cannot hear anything. MC yells to see if she can hear but nothing is useful. Colette decides to go home thinking Usami and MC went home too, and now they are even more afraid. It's getting dark, Usami is feeling chilly and is imagining MC hugging her from the back to make her warm. MC is staring at her mumbling random words but she is lost in her imagination. Usami cannot believe that she is stuck with her crush in an empty dark tiny room for a whole night. And her imagination made it all worse, she is freaking out not knowing what to do, so MC grabs her by the shoulders. He looks her directly in her eyes and tells her that they are not alone. He takes one of his anime figures out and tells her there are three of us here. This makes her giggle and her mood gets better now. MC shows her what her figures can do more and Usami is impressed. His figure has a light that is bright enough, so they decide to shine it through the door glass. This way the teacher on the round can notice and let them out of the room. However, the teacher is Yumeko and she is very scared of being alone in the dark. She is passing the door when she sees a light coming out of the storage room. She goes to check and sees a figure shining in the dark. This makes her faint and she passes out. MC looks at a random photo and notices that there is another door to this room that connects with their club room. So they get the boxes out of the way. And finally, the door opens and they are out of the room. Both of them are relieved that they are free. Usami tells MC that she is going to be teased a lot if they are stuck in the room for the whole night. MC doesn't get it. This guy is very dense. Usami gets the plaster figured out and it has also been meddled with. It is now a clown head and all this hassle was for no good. Later, Imara and MC are reading manga in the storage room while Usami is doing her homework in the club room. They are making a lot of noise, so Usami asks them to keep it low. MC and Usami start arguing while Imara is holding a manga. The piece of paper drops out of the manga and it's a treasure hunt for the art club. They are very excited to complete this treasure hunt. They start with the first code and it leads them to the boys' washroom. It says to look out the window at the boys' washroom to find the alphabet. 
MC looks out the window and notices sometimes making up the alphabet C. They go down and look at it from the other angle, and it's the alphabet U. Hopefully the other alphabets are N and T. Imara finds this one and Yusami is left behind. Next is her turn and she finds the next spot using the clues. It's a tile and they think there is something hidden under it. So MC digs it and gets out a plastic box that was buried there. MC is exhausted from all the digging and now they are about to open the box. Basami decides to share whatever is inside the box between the three of them. This makes Imara very happy. Turns out the box had anime mangas in it. Usami is mad and shuts it down quickly. After a while, the president asks Usami and MC what happened to them. They have nothing to tell him after what they did all day. On the other hand, Imara is telling Colette that they have to find some sort of a Necronomicon. Don't bother, it's some kind of a book. Colette is very excited about the task that her master has put her up to. Yumeko shows up on the roof where Imara and Colette are planning their mission. Colette tells Yumeko that she has to be on the lookout for a dangerous book. Meanwhile, the president and MC are in the club room. President is being very weird about something and turns out, he is talking about throwing away the book MC and others found in the treasure hunt. He just wants to take it home but is pretending to make it look like he is going to throw it away. MC doesn't buy what he just said and tells him that he can do it himself. The president doesn't have to do anything. They start fighting when Yusami enters the room, so she gets pissed off seeing those two fighting over this filthy book. They both tell her they are planning to throw away this book. She is relieved, but that's when they hear someone coming to the club room. They start to panic and don't know what to do. Turns out it's Yumeko, and she is motivated as usual. Anyways, she tells them that there is a dangerous book everyone has to be on the lookout for, but they get the idea that she is talking about the book they have. The president hides the book in the storage room. Whereas Yumeko wants to look at all the books in the storage room, but the president secretly gets the book out of the room. With the help of MC, they got the book out and now Isami and him are figuring out a way to throw it away. They get into the locker room where they find Colette. She is looking for a grimoire. Don't ask me what that is. She notices Yusami and MC. And Mary also comes there and notices something MC is hiding. Colette tries to take it out by pulling MC's shirt up. Usami then tells Mary that it's the book from the treasure hunt and not their grimoire but it's too late. Colette has the book and she is reading it with full concentration. Yumeko shows up out of nowhere and sees Colette reading this adult book. Hence, Subaru is busted and Yumeko asks him to have a chat with her in her office. President feels jealous that MC is being scolded by beautiful Yumeko. As MC is walking in the hallway, he suddenly meets the guy that he faced off with. He had totally forgotten him, but he remembers him clearly. He is very mad at him for getting the first prize and challenges him again. Although MC doesn't want to compete, the guy literally begs him to accept his challenge. The competition starts and they have to draw Usami. Usami is confused but she agrees. She makes a cute pose but MC starts laughing at him. It makes Usami mad and she tells the other guy that she is rooting for him today. This makes that guy blush and very nervous. The timer is for 10 minutes and as the time passes, they finish and MC shows his drawing. He has made another one of his waifus and Yusami gets pissed that he didn't make her again. Moreover, he points out the fact that her undergarments are the same, always with the undergarment. Yusami looks at the other guy's drawing and he hasn't made anything. He was so nervous because of Yusami that it made him stuck. He couldn't draw anything and he lost the challenge again. He runs out saying he will be back again. Anyways, the president is sleeping outside after skipping class. This guy sure sleeps a lot. So Moika, the little child comes to him and asks him about grandpa. She calls him an old man which he doesn't like very much. The president then gets Moika a green tea on her call and she likes it very much. She has a sketchbook which the president was about to see but Moika doesn't let him. It's for her grandpa and he is a teacher in this school. President helps her go to the staff room. On the way, they sneak past president's class which he skipped. And when they pass by the gym, it intrigues Moeka. Anyways, they finally reach the staff room, and it turns out Koyama is Moeka's grandpa. He checks her sketchbook, and it's a drawing of her and her grandpa. 
He likes the drawing and tells Momika that the guy, the president, is from the art club she really wants to join. She is very happy and feels the president is an important man. This was a very cute moment. President then shows the picture of Moika and Koyama to Yusami and MC. They think this little girl is very cute and suddenly remember that this is the same girl they rescued a year ago. Usami remembers the day they rescued her. In the past, Usami and MC are being announced as rewarded as heroes on the school stage, but this is very embarrassing for Usami for some reason. She is walking down the hallway when Korra asks if she can walk home with her, but Usami is busy with drawings. It's for the competition. A little later, Usami enters the club room, and it's full of boxes. MC is looking for a specific paint that he cannot find so he has made a mess of this room. So Usami scolds him for trashing the room like this. Right now, Sayaka and Usami don't know each other. So Sayaka comes to them and introduces her as a member of the newspaper club. She wants to interview both of them for the rescue of the little girl. Well, Usami agrees and they leave the hallway to talk, because this room is a mess. Usami's homeroom teacher then comes to her and asks her to run for the student council because of what she did. She was hesitant but couldn't say no. After not getting an answer, her teacher tells her to think it over and give him an answer tomorrow. MC is curious why she didn't say no but Usami ignores him. The next day, the teacher is looking all over for Usami but she is avoiding him everywhere. She doesn't want to join the student council but she doesn't dare to say no. MC notices this but doesn't say anything, and later when Usami and MC are in the club room, they hear an announcement for Usami that she is being called in the teacher's office. She knows it's that teacher but she has to go. She enters the office and straight away says she cannot join, but the teacher had already filled out the form for her. She isn't going anywhere now. MC suddenly enters the teacher's room and starts yelling at Usami for not completing her drawing for the competition. He is helping Usami, pretending to worry about the competition. He grabs Usami's arm and takes her out of the room when the teacher asks Usami about the student council. She declines with full confidence and she despaired. She thanks MC for helping her but MC needed her help to find the blue turquoise color. That's why he got her out of there. She is starting to have feelings for MC now which are going to just grow. Anyways, Colette and MC are fighting over a mango whether it is good or not when Yumeko enters the room. She looks at them really mad. They ask what happened and turns out that Colette and MC both didn't score even satisfactory on their exams. Yumeko tells them that they have to pass the exams otherwise no anime or heroes for either of them. They are told to take the special exam at the start of the next week and both of them have to pass the test. Usami offers them a study at her place as her parents are not home for the week. Everyone goes to her home and they start studying. Except for the president, he starts sleeping on the sofa because that is the only thing he can do. Usami is teaching Colette and MC very intently and they are progressing very much. After some time, MC is very tired and wants to take a nap. But sofa is not an option because of the president so MC asks Usami if he can take a nap on her bed. She starts blushing but agrees. Usami then takes MC to her room and tells him blushingly that she is lending her bed to him because there is no option left. This is very romantic for her but MC just wants to sleep. He lays on her bed and starts sleeping. Usami can't control herself looking at MC's lips and comes back from the door. She kisses her and draws a cartoon on MC's cheek. This made her day and comes out of the room smiling. Colette teases her asking why she took so much time there. Anyways, Usami starts teaching Colette and the alarm rings. It's time to wake MC up, but Colette is teasing Usami. Therefore, Usami asks Colette to wake MC up and she goes to wake him up. It's been a while and she isn't back now. Usami goes to see and finds MC and Colette sleeping together. Colette is hugging while sleeping with him. Usami freaks out and yells at her. Their studies then finish and the exam day comes. They take their exam and score very well on it. Yumeko is happy with their effort. However, Korra is very mad that Aimari is taking MC away from her friend Usami. She starts tailing her and accidentally trips and falls. Aimari notices her and sees that she is bleeding from her leg. So Umeri straps her wound and gives her something to eat because her tummy is growling with hunger. Korra isn't responding at all to her and is just staying silent. 
It then starts to rain, so Imari gives her umbrella to Korra as she lives closer and leaves. The next day, Sayaka and Ryoka ask how the tailing went. Korra is very happy with Imari and thinks she is a kind girl and they shouldn't worry about it. So that was it then. Yumeko and Koyama are sitting together and they remember that it's time for the cultural festival. Yumeko wonders what the art club does but Koyama tells her they are here for the competitions not for the festivals. Yumeko wants them to participate in something and gets the idea of looking at an empty can. A little later, MC is drawing while drinking a can. He finishes the can and Yumeko asks if she can have the empty can. It makes Yusami and NC wonder why she has been collecting all these empty cans since yesterday. They ask her and she tells them she wants the art club to participate in the festival, and the empty cans are for the tin can art. Basani likes the idea and starts brainstorming ideas about the design they will be making with all these empty tin cans. MC and Colette show their ideas but they are not so good. At home, Basami is thinking about the design but isn't coming up with anything. She suddenly gets an idea and looks excited. The next day, Korra wants Usami to draw monsters for her, but she is busy with the festival. Anyway, everyone got all the cans they needed and MC finished the design they had to make. It's the design of the paint, squeeze bottle with some paint coming out of it. Hence, they start preparing the cans. They have to pick the pins out, wash the cans and dry them. They are doing this again and again and the president is getting tired and frustrated. So he asks Usami how many they have to do this. It's 30 times, they are doing all the work and start assembling the design. After completing a part of the design, they seem out of cans, so Imari goes to get some from where they have stored many of the empty cans. She is taking some of the boxes out of the room while a teacher is passing by. He thinks they are throwing them away and throws away all the rest of the cans. The next day, Yumeko is devastated telling everybody what happened and has no idea what to do now. The president has an idea of buying some at the supermarket and selling them in the school. They are using all the cans from the school, so it has a theme of being made in school, but school vending machines don't have enough now. The president's idea seems good and they plan to do what he told them. They bought a lot of cans from the supermarket and now are selling them in school for only 50 yen per can. Everyone wants one and the crowd is getting bigger. I marry and Colette try to help but Yumeko doesn't participate because the suit wouldn't fit her. Anyway, the plan is going great and everyone is buying one or two each. The guy who challenged MC shows up and challenges him again. Whoever drinks the can first wins, hence they start drinking and this guy sprays all of it on MC's face seeing Yumeko in a costume. Anyways, they get all the cans they need and make their own designs. The design is assembled in the club room but they have to display this in the gym. They somehow take it to the gym and it looks great. Usami's mom is happy seeing all these pictures of the festival, whereas Usami is carrying a bundle of notes as a teacher asked her to. She sees Amari looking outside the window a little worried. Turns out it's raining heavily and she left her umbrella at home. So Usami offers her but she refuses. Colette texts Amari that she wants to walk home with her. Usami is on her way to the teacher's office and sees MC. He asks if she needs some help carrying all these notes, but Usami is okay. She suggested that he should share his umbrella with Imari as she forgot hers. MC agrees and starts walking to Imari. As Usami gets all the notes to the office, the teacher asks her to get some stuff from the storage room. On the other hand, Korra texts Yusami that she is taking her umbrella because she also forgot hers at home. Yusami doesn't have any other so she asks her not to but Korra wouldn't listen. A little later, Yusami is upset about how is she going to go home when MC comes out of nowhere. He hasn't gone home with Imari because Imari went with Colette while playing with her. So he stayed for Yusami. Looks like Korra asked MC to take care of Yusami intentionally and took her umbrella for this reason. Hence, Usami is very happy. So MC then shares his umbrella with Usami and they go home. The next day, Usami is walking to school thinking about yesterday when she and MC were going home. MC wanted to talk to her about something but didn't because her friends showed up and asked how it went with her and MC yesterday. Sayaka brings up a good point and tells Usami that she should confess her feelings right now because when they are now promoted to the third year, they won't even have the time to talk to each other. She is taking this seriously now and is thinking about what to do. 
She hears MC and Emery talking to each other and MC is telling Emery about Usami. He is telling Emery that he has fallen in love with Usami and how she behaves. Usami can't believe what she is hearing and composes herself. In the club room, Usami is alone when MC enters the room. He has something serious to tell her and Usami is ready for his confession. MC tells her that he has fallen in love with an anime character that is also named Usami. This has got to be one of the worst coincidences. Usami is very pissed off that she took him seriously and thought he was about to confess his feelings to her. MC asks if he can call Usami by her first name because it's confusing with the character having the same name. She is very shocked to hear him say this. She wants him to call her by her first name, but this is not the right reason. At home, Usami is very sad and depressed. She has no idea what to do. Whereas MC has asked for her response to this request, tomorrow. The next day, as Usami is walking to school, she sees MC walking as well a little far from him. She runs to catch up to him and tells him that he cannot call her by her first name, not so easily. MC doesn't even want to know because the character he loved betrayed him. In the latest episode, he got to know that the character has a boyfriend. He is very pissed and now is more motivated to draw his own waifus. Well, Yusami is happy seeing him the way he normally acts. Everything is back to how it was and Yusami can't ask for more.